All right, all right, all right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Old Dakota here with Luxvani.com coming at you live today from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada with another invaluable YouTube video. And in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking you behind the scenes of a phone call funnel that consistently generates a 900% return on our ad spend every single freaking week like clockwork. It's done it for 24 months and it can do it for you if you quit procrastinating and actually get this damn thing built by some professionals and deployed in the front end of your business. Now in today's video, I'm going to hold nothing back. I'm going to back all this with data and numbers and I'm going to show you some real damn proof of how powerful pay traffic funnels and automation are combined with a single high ticket closer. Now I don't want to make this super complex because we have multiple closers, we have multiple ad platforms, we're spending 15 on Google, we're spending 15 here, 20 here. So I'm going to consolidate this into one single traffic source, one single funnel, and one single closer just so you can see what's possible for your own product or service-based business when it comes to selling high-ticket services. So what I want to start with is I want to get right into the proof and show you guys some real damn proof. Now, real simple, this is our CRM on the back end. As you can see, the CRM is hooked up to our Facebook ads. It's got attribution reporting. It's got appointment reporting. It's got call courting reporting. It's got everything. But what we're going to start with is Google search. Now, you can go and try to rank if you're an agency trying to build funnels. You can go try to rank for these keyword terms if you want with Google. Um, but you're probably not going to be able to outrank us. We spend way more than anybody else can spend because our close rate is so high. Just to give you an example, we typically pay $1,200 per phone call. So if we get five calls a day, we're spending five grand. So, uh, you know, it's crazy. Yes, that's expensive for a single phone call, but I don't care what it costs as long as the return's there. So as you can see here, Google search sales funnels USA. We've had 418 clicks on that particular Google search ad. So what we'll do as an example is we'll run over here to Google search and just type in sales funnels. Bada bing, bada boom. Number one on Google for that keyword term. And there's multiple other campaigns here. You can look, credit, repair, sales funnel. And if you type this and we don't show up, that means you don't meet our income brackets and our targeting or our psychodemographic targeting profiles. So we're excluding you from that. High ticket coaching funnel. Yeah, so we're basically 361 keyword terms. We're ranking on the first page for every single one of them. So we go back here, as you can see, 900 clicks on that. Our cost on that in the last week, we have spent $5,000 on that particular campaign. And from the $5,000 that we have spent, we have successfully collected $50,397 in cash collected. That is a 993 percent ROI, which is absolutely incredible. CPC 5.52, CTR 5, CPS, as I mentioned, over $1,000. Leads 31, CPL 163, impressions, average rev per deal. So pretty incredible numbers here. Now, if we go down to this campaign, this is could be if you're starting out, if you haven't built a lot, if you don't have an experienced closer who has done this for years, maybe you're taking the calls yourself. This campaign could be more realistic for you. As you can see, another campaign there, Search Funnels USA. We've had 538 clicks on that particular campaign, and we have spent $4,881. As you can see, we spent $4,000, and we generated $19,000 in cash collected. That is a 389% return within a five-day work period, which is absolutely incredible. So as you can see, these numbers are very possible. You can still generate a three to four to five to six X ROAS on your ad spend. I don't care about iOS 14. I don't care about attribution. I don't care about cost to acquire a customer going up. It is still very possible if you know what you're doing. The final campaign that you can see here, we have spent $1,600. And from that $1,600, we generated $8,000 in cash collected, which is almost a 5X return on ad spend. Some other campaigns here that we just started, I won't bore you with all the details for those. But the real fact of the matter is, how would you like a 9X ROAS? How would you like a 3X ROAS? 
How would you like a 4.9x ROAS in your business? To where every single time that you spend $1,000, you generate $4,900 back. Or for every single time you spend $1,000, you generate $3,800 back. Or for every time you spend $1,000, you generate $993 or $9,000 back. Doesn't that sound incredible? Well, let me show you exactly how we do it. So the first thing is Google search. That's the paid traffic for this. Now, if I showed you Facebook ads and everything else, it gets complicated. It looks overwhelming because we spend so much money on paid traffic and I don't wanna do that, so I just wanna start with search. So again, sales funnels, real simple. There's our ad, number two, under Purple Planet, who's ranking for our placement, which is okay. We go to that, I'm not gonna click this because they're gonna charge me, but I am going to click on the site for you and show you where that funnel is push or where that ad is pushing them to. This is what we call a website consult funnel. Entire goal with this funnel is to do what? It is to sell a consultation. So if you have a product or a service that is under $2,000, you're typically gonna need some type of human contact to close that deal. Now, if you're a big brand, like some of the brands we've worked with in the past, like Safe Life Defense, doing $7 million a month on automation, one of the dramatic things that made that $7 million a month revenue that we did was literally including a high-ticket closing team, which I recruited and built for that organization that generated over $1.2 million a month. So times have changed. It's no longer 2016. The days of automating 2K offers are quite frankly over. So you have to adjust. And if you don't have a sales team, you're gonna probably have to take some of these calls yourself. So as you can see, this is the funnel. At the top, we have a header image here. Below that, we have some of our clients that have partnered with us. Below that, we go into a short little data section. We talk about, we build funnels <clears throat> we do done for you social media advertising. We provide done for you Google and YouTube ads. And then we provide CRO and we optimize your funnels based off data, not assumptions, theory, or fluff. Then we go into a case study section. Ty Lopez, Safe Life Defense from 9 million to 52 million in 12 months. Jordan Belfort, and of course, Mentor Box, $3 million a month funnel that a managing partner here at Lux Vani built for them, Jonathan Kendall. After the case study section, we go into a small little section about meet the leadership team. You've got Antoine, Andrew, all of us here. Why work with us? You've got some details, high converting copy, wildly profitable ads, funnels that convert, trusted by the elite, scalable optimization. Then you've got to check out the results section regarding some of the bigger projects that we've worked on. And then it goes more into less about revenue, more about consultations, leads, and appointments. After that section, we go into some video testimonials of what our clients are saying. We've put six video, we've put eight videos here. What converts the best based off the conversion rate optimization that we're currently running is four videos right here. Then we go through an actual demonstration of a super profitable funnel that we built for Kent Clother over at Skeleton Escape and his testimonial to the left of that. Then we go through some written testimonials, our boy Sean Balls, or Jordan Belford, Brad Lee, and Marcus Ogden. Call to action there. Then check out some of our most recent projects. Little slideshow of some of the recent funnels that we've built for our private clients. Then we go into that final CTA to get them to schedule that call. We're giving them a free marketing strategy session that's typically valued at $1,000. Here's everything that they can expect from that call. Then you have the Go High Level Scheduler embedded into this page. They just select that. They select the actual time. And then we turn this into the application so we have some context going into the call. Below that, still have questions. Relax, we have you covered. Then we have our company phone number that forwards to sales or customer service. And then we have frequently asked questions. So that is the funnel. So once they get here, there's not much that they can do. There's not a lot of places that they can go, right? On mobile, this header is not even there. The only thing it shows is a logo. So that's what it looks like on mobile. But the cool thing on mobile is that button floats. So everywhere we go, that speak to us button is floating with us. That helped increase our CRO score dramatically there. But that is the first page of the funnel. Now, as you can see, we're leveraging intrigue bias here. We don't mention scheduling a call in these CTAs. We mention, I'm ready to learn more. 
So once they're ready to learn more, it says enter your information to learn more. We hit claim your free sales funnel strategy session. That is the CTA. And then we hit the scheduler. We have the headline here, and then this is not a scarcity tactic whatsoever. This is us being honest with them. We don't offer reschedules. So if somebody books the appointment and they no-show their call, they get blacklisted. If they book the appointment and try to reschedule their call, we're typically not able to reschedule them for four to five weeks out because literally we are back to back every single day with multiple closers. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But here's the scheduler page. They select the date first, then they select the time, they fill out that application, and then of course they hit a thank you page. So very simple funnel there. So remember, Google search was the paid traffic. This is the particular funnel. Then they get on a call with a sales professional. In this particular example, our people aren't really sales people. They're more of internet marketers. They have more experience in internet marketing so we really consider them as coaches when it comes to you know coaching people through what's right to do for their business they go to that call it's a one hour call and on that call we start out getting to know each other it's you know not really a sales call we're getting acquainted we're getting to understand each other we talk about their goals we let them tell us about their story we have some questions there to where we can understand where their current situation is as a founder or an entrepreneur and where their desired situation is and then if we feel like they're a fit for us and we're a fit for them we'll discuss what that looks like and it converts into high ticket sales so every single day my salespeople wake up with eight to ten back-to-back -back appointments and out of those eight, let's say they have 10 appointments, right? They'll book 10. Out of those 10, two to three people won't show. So that leaves us with, you know, let's say seven, for example. They end up speaking and giving live calls to seven people. Out of those seven, half won't be qualified for the offer. And then the remaining other people may be qualified for the offer. And then one or two of those people close on our high ticket services. So that's what that looks like. Now they get on the call, they do their thing. We give them an incentive based price if they're willing to take action on that call by reserving it with some type of deposit, very feasible deposit. And to be frank, guys, if you're selling your services and you are having to do two and three calls and you're dealing with people that have limiting beliefs and they're skeptics and everything like that, you have to remember there is such thing as no clients. There are people that you do not want to serve due to their psychometric profiles, they score too high in neuroticism, they're unstable. You wanna stay away from those people. So what I like to do is we're all about quality, right? over quantity. We want long-term relationships with successful people. We don't want short-term transactions. So our vetting process is a little hard, but the reason why I'm telling you this is don't be scared to ask people for deposits to reserve their seat for whatever you're selling. What we have found is majority of the A players are best clients. They are literally willing to get on one call and put a 500 to 1,000 bucks down on that call to reserve their incentive-based pricing. So don't be scared to do that with your funnels. It will help your conversion rates and it will also help you cut through all the bullshit and get to the people who really are serious about your services. Now, what happens after that? We take that deposit, right? We get some type of incentive-based deposit towards their development, towards their project, and then they get an agreement. That's the next step. Closer gets off the phone, he collects the deposit, all that information gets passed to an admin assistant for that particular closer. The admin's job is to just send contracts all day long. They go through this, they check this out, they prepare the agreement, and this is what the agreement looks like. You've got our mission and values. We like to talk about that right up front because if they don't jive with us, don't even sign it. And then we go into the scope of work, and then we go into the delivery time, and then we go into the fees and billing, and then we go into the entire agreement, blah, blah, blah. And then down here at the bottom, they sign the particular agreement, and then below that, we have some very important context to getting them to understand who they're dealing with, what type of firm we are, and everything in between. So we've got some videos, we've got some videos regarding Meet Our Leadership Team, 
Jonathan Kendall, former CEO of Mentor Box, Andrew Sabatino, former co-founder and vice president of Safe Life Defense, Dmitry Smirnoff, Sean Valser, Antoine, myself. Then we've got some stuff regarding our customers, what our customers have to say. We're endorsed by ClickFunnels.com. Tony Robbins is a former right-hand man, blah, 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 blah. Then we go into some text message or, <clears throat> excuse me, text formatted testimonials in the agreement so they can get some context of what people are saying about us, kind of calm them a little bit, you know, show them what's really possible and show them how many happy customers we have. And then we go into some screenshots, me and Jordan Belford here having conversations, me and Brooke over at the Life Coach School, uh, me and Nick Cooper, the celebrity vocal coach for Beyonce, Nicki Minaj and Khalid, me and Nick Grote at Safe Life, me and Los at Powerhouse, me and the senior copywriter at ClickFunnels, me and my dear friend Caroline, blah, blah, blah. Then we go into giving some more value. Hey, here's some sales funnel insights. Here's a $36 million membership site funnel that we built for MentorBox.com. Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, a lot of social proof in some of these videos too. Like in this particular video, Grant Cardone's literally pitching me on coming to partner with Robert Sislo and run his 10X productions. I didn't do that, I ended up working with Jordan Belford instead. Um, but that gives you some context there. You got Alex Hermosi, you got Alex Becker, you got Smile Direct Club, just tons of great resources for him here. And then they scroll down and they can see all of our funnels, like exactly what we're building for them. This is the previews of our funnels. So you've got tons of e-commerce funnels, mastermind funnels, courseware funnels, solar funnels. Um, SaaS funnels, mastermind funnels, real estate funnels, e-commerce funnels, I mean everything here so they can get some context of you know what the design quality is going to be, what they can expect with a funnel with us. Then we go into some basic, basic press, us featured in News, Market Insider, um, you know, Digital Journal, and Yahoo Finance and everything in between. And then we just stack some random stuff here. I deleted half of these. There was like 35 of these in here, but it made the contract so long. So I just left a couple of them, but these are real clients of ours that you know are messaging in, in their project management system regarding their projects. So you know we just post that in there to give them some context of you know how happy our customers are and how happy they're gonna be once we get their funnel built live, launched, and run their traffic for them. So there's that. What happens there? They sign the contract. Then they get onboarded as a client. They end up in this project management software known as Trello, for example. We come in here. We onboard them. They get to meet the leadership team. Um, they can schedule calls based off where they're at in their projects. So like us, for example, we start with the sales funnel. That's the priority. That's the key to the whole thing. Let me change this display settings so that does not look so funny for you guys. Display, boom, try that. Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. So then they get in here, this is a project management system as I was mentioning before. So we build their funnel first, <clears throat> then we set up their email automation, text message automation, and build them a fully custom CRM. So that's step two here in the purple. Step three is literally we'll set them up with our media buyers to where we'll run their traffic on a pure performance basis. And then step four, there's some other resources here. If they need working capital, they can apply through one of our partners who do PO financing and factoring. Or if they need high ticket closers, they can work with Psychology Secrets and SellOps.com, another sister company of ours, or whatever it may be. They can meet some of the partners that we have as well that are resources for them. They can watch all of our trainings here. Their contracts are here. Their mock-ups are here. This particular customer, as you can see, he's bought in like two funnels from us in the last 30 days because he was so impressed with the first funnel that he did. So if we click on this real smooth process, everything's dialed in for him. We click on mock-up. His mock-up for his entire funnel is laid out right there for him. And as you can see, this is one happy customer. So this is what we look for. But the reason why it works is the back end super dialed in and we have a big team. But there's that, for example. Once they get through all that, we get them to pay traffic. And then, of course, we scale with them. We take a percentage of their ad spend and we take them to the moon is kind of what we do. But there's the back end there. Now, if we go back to this, one of the most important parts that I see, if you want to get this type of ROAS, there's a couple of components that you really cannot neglect. 
the first component is the sales funnel. If you're not a professional copywriter, if you have no experience in building and launching two comma club award-winning sales funnels, I would highly encourage you to leave the copywriting up to a professional. Because what a lot of novice people do here is they start writing this copy and it's all about the product and it's all about the service and it's all about this and that. And they fail to understand that a funnel's job <clears throat> is to push the person to the next step in the funnel. So like, for example, you're not selling your product or service on page one. You're selling intrigue bias, authority bias, social proof bias to get them to take an action and opt in and, of course, get to the next step in the funnel. So if you don't understand psychology and you're not someone who writes copy for a living, which you probably aren't, I would leave the copy up to the professionals. I would leave the architecture of the funnel up to the professionals. And I would leave the media buying up to the professionals. So the first thing is, is make sure <clears throat> if you're going to put money behind this thing in ad spend, make sure it's done right. Make sure a professional is guiding you and coaching you through this process because you don't know what you don't know. And it's smarter to learn from our mistakes than make them on your own, right? So what we have here <clears throat> is on the back end here, we went through those campaigns, but it's a couple of components that really make a funnel successful. And you have to have all these. It's not subjective. This is not opinion. This is me being honest with you and setting the expectation for you before you try to get into this funnel world because it's gonna be very painful if you don't have the right expectation. So the first thing is you need a funnel. And when we say funnel, what does a funnel consist of? A funnel consists of the architecture of the funnel, which is the funnel strategy, all the design for the funnel, <clears throat> and then it also consists of all of the copywriting for the funnel. So those are the three things that's included there. That's three things, right? The second step of a funnel is what? If you have a funnel with no email and text message automation, you are not going to be successful. You're not going to be able to generate a positive ROAS on your ad spend. So you must have all that built. Now, if you're not familiar with that, <clears throat> what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to write all the copy, all the sequences, all the pipelines, and know how all the workflows work, how to design them, how to build them, how to craft them, and how to set up all the tech for them and test them and make sure they work. So that is the second step of a funnel. The third step of a funnel, which is a very important step that a lot of people neglect, is once that automation is set up, you have to have a CRM, <clears throat> a centralized dashboard that tracks your entire business or it's not going to work. So when I say CRM, I don't mean having 20 different softwares attached together. I mean having one platform that integrates your ads, that integrates your funnels, your phone calls, your automation, your Zoom calls, and gives you a centralized dashboard to run your entire business. Because if you don't have that and you're not tracking offline conversions through a CRM on a phone call funnel, your ads are going to optimize for clicks and opt-ins and it's not going to optimize for deals being made which is going to cut your row ads all the way back and you're never going to be profitable. So this is very, very important stuff. Then once you get the CRM out of the way, which is difficult to set up if you don't know what you're doing, then you go to paid traffic. Now paid traffic is the holy grail. Organic, you're going to have to take time. Paid is like fire. You're pouring gasoline on the funnel and it's just flooding. So if you're an entrepreneur on today's video that has a product or service if you don't have a crm if you don't have your email automation and your text automation done and you don't have a funnel that is architected based off something that is proven to work and a subject matter expert has coached you through that process you do not want to run paid traffic if you run paid traffic right here without any one of these pieces if you have the funnel and the automation and you miss a crm you're going to lose money if you have the CRM in the funnel and you don't have the automation, you're going to lose money. So you have to get all this set up. And that's the problem that I have with funnel agencies. They'll just build you the funnel and send you on your way. That is how you fail. 
this is a real funnel. A real funnel consists of the funnel, the automation, the CRM, and real traffic, which is what we do. So you've got to keep that in mind. Now, this CRM is really important because if you get this bad boy set up right, remember, I'm walking you through my ads here. This is all in my CRM. I don't have to go to 15 places here to get these details. So like I go to conversations and I go to all or latest or you know whatever, every single conversation between all of my sales reps and my customers is in one place. We're literally able to call out of one place. We're able to email out of one place. All of our automation shows up. We know what's going on. We know how many people's coming in, all of that. If we go to calendars, for example, and we have multiple reps, but let me just pick a random one. We'll pick Antoine for you. Look at this. This is what my sales guys wake up to every single day. This is what happens when you leverage paid traffic, a funnel, a CRM, and automation. People actually show up for the damn appointments. So as you can see, here we are today, Thursday, and we're booked all the way out until Monday. Tuesday's already filling up, and by the end of the day, Tuesday will be filled up. So literally, my sales guys just wake up every single day to back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back appointments, and we do this through three different salespeople. So the returns that I showed you here today, those crazy returns and that reporting, that 900% return if we go to our Google Ads reporting, that's through one single sales rep. Like, look at this. This is through one rep. One rep we spent five grand on, and one rep collected 50,000, and one rep made a 900% return in a week. It's one sales professional. So once you get this dialed in, you can duplicate the talent, and that's how you get to those crazy half a million dollar to million dollar a month numbers, and then you keep duplicating it and keep duplicating it, and then you can possibly get to three to five million dollars a month. But it's all the same thing. It's just leads, it's salespeople, it's back end, it's fulfillment, it's customer success. It's those things combined. But I will tell you this, if you're an entrepreneur and you're just starting out, the only thing I would be focused on is marketing and sales. That's it. That's how you get proof of concept with your offer. And then once you do that, you can duplicate your talent. When I started Lux Vani, for example, I took calls by myself. It was a small consulting practice at one point that made 60, 70 grand a month. But I was able to collect $750,000 in a five-month period selling high-ticket webinars by myself. So I found another salesperson to sit on my calls for those five months, and he watched me close life. And he's seen how much cash I was making, how much commission I was making, how much revenue I was putting up. And then I just duplicated myself into him, and then he did that with two other people. So that's not that complicated to do, right? But you've got to get started. Now, if we go down here to contacts, all of our contacts is in one place. If we go to opportunities board, all of our opt-ins are here. The problem that we're having now is we have so many opt-ins, we're not calling these opt-ins anymore because we don't have enough availability on the schedule for the reps that we have. So until we get two more closers onboarded, I can't call these opt-ins and schedule from an SDR perspective because we're so flooded with appointments, right? The next thing that we have here is scheduled appointments. As you can see, we've got 31 scheduled appointments in the, in the next, I don't know, in the next seven days. So there you go. Um, Follow-up needed. These are people that are typically not a fit or pe typically people we got to schedule call number two with not a fit or people we decided we did not want to work with. They had limiting beliefs. They were whatever. People who no-showed, people who had bad data in there. And as you can see, these aren't, these aren't all from search. Like that BSL video, that's Facebook ads. Uh, video prospecting BSL, that's Google. As you can see, sales funnel strategy session, that's organic. So all this stuff's teed up to where it's all keyworded. Uh, video, click funnels, software, BSL. So like all this is dialed into where we can see where it's coming from based off the keyword, which is why this is so important. And then you go into deals, deposits, all that great stuff back in there. So yeah, that's what you need. That's what a real CRM is. So that's what you got to build. But again, very simple funnel, not that complicated. 
Google search was the traffic source. Look at this again. 900% of return a week. Come on. This is what kills me with entrepreneurs that have these limiting beliefs. Like literally not doing this deal. If you look at my numbers right now, let's do that again. If you look at my numbers right now and you go to reporting, and if I'm able to do these numbers with this offer based off high ticket closers on the back end, that's the only thing. Remember, you're not selling credit repair. You're not selling anything. You're selling current situations and desired situations, and your product and services just bridge those gaps. That's it. Nobody buys supplements to buy supplements. They buy supplements to lose weight. Nobody gets a breast augmentation because they want silicone in their body. They want the confidence that it provides. Nobody buys a $65,000 AP because it's a $65,000 watch because it tells time. They buy it for the status the damn watch brings. So these limiting beliefs that these startup founders have, it, it drives me crazy. Look at this. I spent five and made 50 in five days. Let's say you only do 40% as well as me, 10% as well as me. Are you in a better place then than you are now? That's the real question. And it kills me to see people with these limiting beliefs. The cost of not doing a deal, not getting a funnel built by a professional, not getting your CRM, your automation, and your paid traffic dialed in, the cost of not doing it outweighs the damn cost of doing it. If you're sitting on this right now, you're literally, let's say you do half as well as me, you're losing $25,000 a week. That's your potential. But because you want consult with an expert, you're a skeptic. You don't, you, you want to try all this stuff on your own and spend four and a half years failing and trying to figure it out with no outside counsel. That's what it's costing you. So who cares if it costs you 10 grand? It's, you're losing 50 grand a week, 25 grand a week. Who cares if it costs you five grand to get going? Doesn't matter, right? So people got to get past this. The problem of it is they don't know this is possible. But here's the real numbers. I'm showing you today it's possible, and it's been possible for us for 24 months. This is not some campaign that just randomly started working. We've been in this game quite a bit. So if this interests you and you want to leverage a high ticket phone call funnel and you want us to deploy it into your business, I'm talking about building the funnel, writing the copy, doing the automation, setting up the tech, building your CRM for your business and designing it for your business and then running all of your ads just like this on a pure performance basis with the same media buyers that generate a 900% return for us, then head over to luxfani.com. Leave your limiting beliefs at the door. Commit. Quit taking time. Quit thinking. Just commit and get something done. Go over here and schedule a call. Fill out this. Click this. Schedule an app. Uh, schedule a time and date that works for you based off our availability and your availability. Fill out the application. Show up for your appointment. We'll look at your business, we'll look at your offer, we'll see if we're fit to work together, and we will literally give you a two comma club, award-winning sales funnel strategy on the call for free with no strings attached, whether you decide to move forward or not. So my question to you, is that worth an hour of your time if you're already losing $25,000 a week? Of course it is. So if you're serious about scaling your business, you want to work with the professionals, you want to get this done, and you want to quit procrastinating, Head over to luxvani.com. We're happy to help you. Now, I hope you guys got some value from this video today. My goal wasn't to go on a tangent or to get irritated. My goal was to show you what is possible with a simple phone call sales funnel, some paid traffic, a CRM, and some automation to show you how much potential you have. You have more potential than you think. So quit holding yourself back and commit. Now, be great. Enjoy the day. We'll see you guys on the next one. And remember, you are just one funnel away. Peace out, guys.